Well, if you're ready to do your spring cleaning, you don't want to do it all for nothing. We're at Stark's Vacuum, and we're learning a little bit about your vacuum cleaner and what you have to do to keep it functioning properly so it's really doing its job, and Ken is here to show us. Now, this seems like it would be very convenient. Uh, yeah, very convenient, but it's very, very dusty. Um, if you have dust or allergy problems, it's kind of a difficult unit for you. Um, there's a filter inside here that very, very important that you take off and clean all the time. As you can see, all the debris gets built up inside these grooves in here, and it really cuts the airflow down of your vacuum cleaner. Now, can you clean that, or do you just need to replace uh, it? You can a little bit, but typically these are designed to be replaced about every six months. Um, sometimes a little sooner if you have dogs and kids or live out in the country um, versus living in town. So the good thing is you don't have this bag that you have to change and deal with, but there are some the bad other bad news issues. is you have to buy a more expensive filter than what bags would normally cost you. Also, when you go to, to dump this machine, the dirt, you dump it out like that, it does create a lot of dust in the garbage can and can kind of fly back up at you. But gotcha. very important to keep that filter clean. Now here's a bag. Uh-huh. This is kind of a typical vacuum bag. Yes. Now, ooh, <laughs> it's full. <laughs> and that's a full bag. And what some people do is they let their vacuum bag get too full. Um, very important not to let a bag get over full because it cuts your airflow down and uh, to your vacuum cleaner, which really will cut the cleaning ability down on the vacuum cleaner. Now, these are not the kind of bags that you can empty either. You no, need they to don't replace, make any throw of those. it away. Yes, throw them away. Don't try to reuse them because bags have uh, pores in them, kind of like our skin, and they get filled with fine dust and they won't breathe anymore. Even if you do empty the debris, the pores will still be clogged up. Okay, so you're using your vacuum cleaner and you notice that ah, it's not doing much good. Sure. What is probably wrong with it? Um, biggest problem with a vacuum, if you're actually vacuuming and it's not picking up animal hair and crumbs and things like that, are going to be your brush rollers or your belts. Like this unit right here, it's got all kinds of string on it, hair on it. They get wrapped up around the ends of the brush roller, which will slow the 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 rotation of this down. Now that's nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, there, there's a lot worse than this, but very important to take like a pair of scissors or something and kind of cut that off and keep the debris off this. Um, so you're doing a little bit of your own maintenance on your machine if sure. you really want it to work properly. Absolutely. Okay. Something you should do often. But what if that's not working? Uh, then you need to bring it in and let us do a complete service on it for you and we can actually take the vacuum apart, take the end caps off, clean out the hair that gets back inside and, and uh, or sometimes you have to replace the whole brush roller. Okay, and these rollers have a belt, is that Yes, correct? they do. Uh, belts are notorious for stretching out of shape or they can actually break. Um, but one of the biggest problems is that people will think that their belt is good if it's still turning the brush roller if it hadn't broken, but um, belts do stretch out and as you can see here, this is the same belt, a new one and a used one and the difference in the size. This is just an old belt and it won't turn the brush roller as fast or won't turn it at all on a thicker style carpet, which will create a burning smell and won't pick up the cat hair and dog hair off your floors. So don't wait until it breaks. Don't wait until it breaks. They, belts should be changed about three times a year. Is three good, times a year? Yes. Uh huh. Seems like a lot. Yeah, even if you're not using the machine, they still are, they're pulled so tight they just stretch and they, they lose their strength uh, pretty quickly. So. Okay, so if your vacuum cleaner isn't working the way that you think it should be working, bring it in to Starks. Absolutely. You don't have to buy your vacuum cleaner no, here, no, we but you can bring it in here for maintenance and they'll make your old vacuum cleaner look like new. Yep. Thanks, absolutely. Ken. Thanks.